Yes. Oh, I was trying to scare you because this is a scary uh, episode. Uh, uh, well, half of it. Which half did you find scary? Uh, was it the bar? Your house. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly wasn't a sharp object. I mean, it was great, but it wasn't scary. Yeah, I, I've got a feeling this was uh, more a bit psychological. Mm. A bit. One of them is a bit jumpy. Uh, but yeah, lockdown's not as scary as these TV shows. Hey, we're still topical. Although, if this is coming out in July, hopefully, this still in lockdown. lockdown was, all a, <laughs> was all a distant memory. Do you know what? I've actually convinced myself that it's not being lifted this year, and it's really helping cope because it's like everyone's going, "Oh God, they're saying we're going to be another couple of weeks," and it's like, I don't care. In my head, this is lasting all year. Uh, so I've been, I've been telling Ben he's not going back to work until next year. <laughs> I don't think yeah, I don't that, think it's helping him. <laughs> that's because of the uh, accusation, as it were. Well, I mean, I had to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, touched, yeah. he touched my small toe inappropriate, like. Can you touch someone else's small toe appropriately? No, I suppose if you're helping sexual. with an injury. <laughs> what even paramedics? <laughs> well, I mean, if I always get hard, it's always sexual. So the haunting. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to do first? Because these are two wicked shows, and I actually the, the only problem I'm going to have with this is that I can't put Haunting Hill House in my top five of the year because you've already seen, I've seen it. it all before. I and I, I you know, it's quite apparent. I fucking love it, and not. I, I think I said last week it's the best thing Netflix have ever done, and I stand by that. I'm not going to lie. I this is to show you how far ahead these shows are planned. When I put this on the spreadsheet, this was the first open slot, and this show was new. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I, actually, I think I remember saying to you, like, we need to do this show at some point. Um, it didn't come out last year. It must have been a year before. So It must have been two years ago this came out. Yep. There you go, 2018. I've yeah. waited a year and a half to watch this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. For well, seeing as we're talking about it, we might as well start on... Haunting Hill House. It was so worth the wait. <laughs> I'm very pleased you think so. So, right. How many episodes in are you now? Four. I started it yesterday. <laughs> so, does that mean... Have you had Luke's episode yet? Yes. The one with the, the tall man. Is it the tall man he calls him? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favourite episodes. It's so fucking good. Um, because the thing that I'm liking so far is because obviously the first episode shows you Steve's um, so you get your first view of the night that fucking what's her face um, everything changed uh, Olivia uh, no the one of the twins dies Theo no not Theo Nell mm. yeah where you, her um, maybe not suicide, but maybe suicide for the pilot happens. And then I like that they keep jumping back and showing you a bit before and a bit after that for each character. Thus far, I'm sure they'll all converge and then they'll be like, we got to go to the house and then they'll all get killed. Well, I mean, I, I, I can't say anything because I'll spoil it if I tell you you're right. <laughs> Oh, is this like you were right about who a gossip girl was? Is it the same sort of? No, you're you're actually it's not it's not quite that. Okay, so, so I I'm pretty much right. So I just stopped watching it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, base oh is a bit good in it. I fucking loved this show. Like I I could not believe how good it was when I was watching. Yeah, because from. Like the first episode, you see Steve going through uh, spilling family secrets for profit, mm -hmm. like a cant. Um, and then, but not only that, he's just going to find random people and just be like, "Yeah, tell me a story." And then, what well, I'm, a, well, I'm, a, I'm gonna write it down, and then make loads of money. But I'll tell the story right. Because he spends the whole first episode lying on that, not the whole episode, but a chunk of it lying on the bed, 
Yeah. And then has just a rational explanation for her ghost story. Everything. Which fits. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, so you're a skeptic, but it makes you money. So you believe her enough to be skeptical. Mm. And then it's just, yeah, like the whole, like jumping back and forth in time thing is really cool. I, I just, I love it because it takes so long for you to get any understanding of what is happening on the night when they all left. Yeah, because all day, it's all, it slowly gets revealed more. Because you see Steve's bit of it right at the end of the pilot. I think, because I was watching it with Jack, and I, I said, I was like, that's how you do a pilot. Because it's given me just enough to be interested. And, like, it just held back enough that I wasn't satisfied <laughs> with, yeah, like, the end of it. That we just watched, like, four episodes. I just, I just love, like, because you're, you're not entirely sure of what you're seeing at the time. So, like, when he, he, his dad picks him up and says, right, to close your eyes, we're going to leg it through Oh, here. at that point, I was just like, and I was just like, his mum's dead. <laughs> but the second, like, he, he sneaks a peek, doesn't he? And he sees someone running down the corridor towards it. That bit just, it's fucking amazing. That entire, Jesus Christ. The other thing that I loved about this show, that it, it, it sort of, it rewards repeat viewing. Because what you realise, I only realised this about episode four, and then once I realised it, I couldn't stop looking for it. There's ghosts everywhere in that show. Like, they're just in the background. There's people. There's just ghosts all over. And there's some... Um, once you've seen all the, the episodes and that, once you finish one, what you should do is go onto um, on the web. There's a few websites that point out where all these hidden ghosts are, and they're like little Easter eggs. So, like, you you'll have watched the scene, and you you know you think you know what's going on, and it will show you a picture from that scene, and there's ghosts in the background of it that you didn't notice the first time. It's fucking brilliant. That's awesome. So, like the 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 first one that I spotted, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And we had to rewind it. Was there's a bit? I think um, is it? It's either Luke or Theo that climbs down a ladder. And there's a ghost, like, there's a face in between the rungs. And because you're not looking for it, you don't recognise it until, like, I, I just glimpsed it. I was like, whoa, rewind it. And you rewind it, and there's this fucking, oh, it's it's brilliant. And they're everywhere. Oh, might have to start it again. <laughs> I, I would. Just watch the first four episodes over and over again and never finish the show. <laughs> it's like the, um... It's like the fifth housemate in the young ones that you don't you don't know is there until you uh, <laughs> until you know to look for it. You don't know he's there. But it's kind of terrifying that. Oh my god! I've just remembered like the best. There is a jump scare in this show. That is the jump scare that's got me better than anything. What? Even that like, guy in the um, escape room. Oh yeah, no, not that. <laughs> was it worse than that? Did you actually cry? <laughs> uh, it wasn't quite that bad. This one, but like, because um, you knew it was just in the telly. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. See, now I'm I'm just a bit upset because all I've done is I'm scrolling down and I'm looking at like an article that's about all the hidden ghosts, and there's so many. There's so many. Just. Just faces in corners of stuff. Like, you have to really look for some of them. Oh, man, it's so good. I'd, I'd love to watch this show again. In fact, I think... I might... Why don't... Yeah, there we go. So <laughs> It's still episode... on Netflix. <laughs> um, episode three, there's a bit where I think it, it, Theo opens the trapdoor and there's just a guy, like, staring at her through the, the rungs. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this show. I fucking love this show. And that's the thing, I like that all of, like, the kids all seem to, like, well, the kids who believe more have little touches of, like, paranormal about them, like, Theo's perception and the yeah. twin thing. Because I loved Luke's episode where he's just like, oh, I'm so cold. And I was like, I don't understand, you're not in withdrawal. 
then I was like, oh, this whole episode is about like their connection, and she's in a freezer now. Mm. And I was just like, oh, it's so good. And he was like, oh, my muscles are so stiff. And I was like, oh, you're in rigor mortis, kind of, but not really. <laughs> but yeah, but just oh. in the first episode where Steve turns around and Nell's there, and he's just like, I can't believe you just like let Luke in and like rob me. Like, why didn't you say anything? And then she just stands there in silence and then he gets the call. Yeah. Oh, man. It's just like, right? oh, she went back to the house. He just turns around and goes, what? Uh, uh but, uh, and then just, she is just right there. And I was like, fuck. And then he falls over <laughs> and I was like, huh, idiot. <laughs> oh, man. I, I just, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. It just felt like, it felt like Netflix basically went, hey, Joe, we've made a show for you. Watch this. And I was like, oh, this is, Fucking brilliant. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I don't... I can't think of anything more I'd have wanted from it. Apart from, I already feel like I want there to be more episodes. <laughs> I haven't even watched yeah. all of the ones that they have yet. <laughs> but I think I just want there to be more. There's a... um. I think actually, if you're on episode, you've watched four of them, haven't you? So it might even be five. But there's one episode that it's almost entirely a one shot. Interesting. Is that the one that ties everything together? Uh, not quite. It doesn't quite tie it all together. But it, you start. It starts. It's the first time they're all back together. I think. All the, all oh, the so it's not tying together the 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 night they lost their mum a little bit. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Yes, yeah, the sixth episode, and it, it's all. Yeah, I would have imagined it would be the sixth episode because that's going to be Nell's funeral, I'd guess. Because all the kid, no, all the surviving kids have had an episode, so I imagine Nell or the dads are going to get another an episode. For five, and then yeah, five five is now. Was that one that is also really good? Yeah, and actually, it was after. I think it might have been after watching this one that is the one and only time I had sleep paralysis, and it's directly it's directly related to um one of the ghosts in episode five. You fucking what? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want that. But I mean, kind of. It's an interesting experience, but it sounds great. terrifying. Yeah, it's, it's not particularly nice. Thing is, I thought because I was watching this and I was like, "It's the first time that I've been like so engrossed that in something in a long time, something that's oh, this is scary." And I've gone, "Ah!" Oh. And there have been jump scares that got me. Finally. Is it, it's all it took was the best Netflix show that's ever been. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty fucking high bar. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the thing, it wasn't any of like the ghost or the spooky stuff. It was just in Luke's episode where the dog starts barking at him. I was like, fucking, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah, that's the only one that's got me so far. There is one. Come on, like I, I, I just wasn't expecting it, and I, I literally. I, I actually made this noise. I pro- we were watching it in bed. I properly went, <gasps> and I've never really done that before. <laughs> that's because that's not a real noise. <laughs> yeah, I I can't I can't say enough how much I fucking love this show, and I cannot wait for the second series. Although it's it's a different, it's a completely different story, but I think it's the same cast. Oh really? Yeah, so this is based on Shirley Jackson's book, The Haunting Hill House, and then the next one is going to be um, The Haunting of Blind Manor, which is based on um, The Turn of the Screw. Do you know what? I want to play Betrayal at House on the Hill. <laughs> oh my god, I'd love to, but I'm never allowed to play it. Why? Well, for one thing, you need three players, and famously, there's only two of us who live here. Well, that's and... why I should move in. Or you should move right. to London. And... Lisa doesn't like it. All right, you move to London. Leave her. 
get a divorce, buy a new PC, no, no, no. which you were trying to convince me to do just now. <laughs> I think I did it quite effectively. <laughs> oh, there's... um. The, mm. No, I've, I've, I've wait until you finish it. I was going to say something about the ending. Of Honestly, House. next time we speak, I will have finished this TV show. Yeah, no, I, I figured that would be the case. So yeah, I'll, I'll tell you the thing about it that people think has happened uh, next time we speak. Yeah, because I yeah. think oh. that was... Oh, I haven't finished any of the other the shows that we've done this year yet. Uh, I don't think I have either. I don't think I've finished any shows from Series 1, to be honest. No, well, oh no, I finished oh, the Umbrella Academy. I finished, finished <laughs> yeah, you. I finished those two, terrible. but I'd already seen them before. Ah, uh, I mean, I was going to finish It's Greek, but you know, I've got this now. <laughs> Don't need anything fun. Yeah, that's fine. Like now, now that you're watching something real good, that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah. So, should we do sharp objects? Yeah. So, how long Sorry. did it take you to notice all the scars? All the what? The scars. All the words that... Because I saw the words throughout the episode. Like... Because you see like flashes of different words throughout the episode, and I was like, okay, okay. I think those words mean something. And then at the end, I was like, oh, they're all carved in her skin. Wait, what? Did you not notice all of the words carved into her skin at the end of the episode? I mean, I've got to be honest, I was watching it on my phone while I was doing the washing up, so I might have missed that bit. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go back and just watch the last couple of seconds. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. No, because I saw that, like, the, the last shot is her in the bath and that, and I thought, oh, some... It, it was, the music was all like, oh, it's Literally, dramatic. The last, like, well, the last thing you see before it fades back is she's got the word vanish carved into her arm, which is the name of the episode. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I did not pick up on that. Oh, uh, so I sounded like a crazy person for a second there. <laughs> well, I, I was just like, what the Because did you see, you like, about? on the boot of her car, it was like the word dirty. Right <gasps> oh, God, no. Oh, Jesus, that's terrifying. Holy shit! Yeah, my main question is, how did she get the ones on the, her back to look like words? Well, she didn't write them, clearly. Or she, Holy. or she's talented, like a really awful talent. But oh my god, they're ever all over her arms, Jesus! And the thing is, I didn't clock until that moment that throughout every other. Where she's closed. She's been it's wearing all, long sleeves. All long sleeves. Yeah. Oh has that, my fucking god. Has that changed your take on this being a scary show? Oh, that has creeped me the fuck out. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I, I'm, I was pretty sure I was gonna, I was gonna try and watch this anyway because I really liked it. Oh, it's real. This is it's a so good epi- This is a good couple of shows. Mm. Like, as I was watching this, I was like, this has got, like, potential top five material, which isn't great, because I've already got a whole bunch of episodes that I'm willing well, to put up as my top five. We're nearly halfway through the year, and don't forget, we play fast and loose with those rules of just, like, yeah, top That's five, true. plus, hey, you can mention, like, six or six, seven other shows that you really liked. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, no, I did not spot that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh man. Ooh. Anyway, um <laughs> Yeah, so she has a rough life. But this no, but... this show does the same thing. It has like flashbacks. And weirdly the beginning is almost an interaction between her past and present. And I was real confused. Cuz it's her and her sister like yeah, running through and then they jab her in the finger with a a uh, paperclip, mm-hmm. and she wakes up, and I was like, "Uh." And there's like the candy wrappers there, and I was like, "I don't understand. Is this a time travel show? No, because time travelers don't write stuff on them." Oh, 
Just remember about Memento. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> well, that really that um, stopped me in my track. Okay, yeah, fine. <laughs> there's a there is a there's a real sort of underlying feeling in this show, isn't there? Of something is not fucking right. No, like, it's, and I, I, it's, I think her, it's, gonna... it's her mum. Like she freaks me the fuck out. She <laughs> she could have been Norman Bates's mum. I'm just yeah. just saying she she's mother but alive, which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but but more as well as that, I think where she's an alcoholic and she has these weird blackouts. That's you know bringing in a favorite thing of ours, which is a completely unreliable narrator. Um, yeah. Un- so it, that's the thing I got halfway through this and I was like oh she's unreliable as fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm in like, completely I, I loved this I thought it was amazing I really liked it it felt a little similar to True Detective like in the because in True Detective it, it feels like there, there's something almost supernatural about what's going on and it's never explicitly said that this is supernatural in fact it's it's never like you know there's no other than like there's a, a ritualistic style of murder, there's just a feeling that in the swamp land that it's set and there's something evil in the swamp and it really feels like there's something evil just in this town. Like it felt Stephen King as fuck. Yes, oh, like a hundred percent. Like it. Cause I was just watching, I was like, oh, this is okay. So it's just, she's a reporter because Amy Adams uh, typecast. Also, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Amy Adams might be the well. She's one of the best actors working like today. I mean, Nish Kumar's like obsessed with her. Like he thinks she is the best actor in the world, and he's. I don't think he's wrong. Like she is fucking amazing in this. She was raised in a place in Colorado called Castle Rock. No. Yeah. <laughs> Castle Rock's a real place. <laughs> Yeah. Well, not, not. Um, it's not. In, it's not in the right state for it to be Stephen King. No, I was going to say not the Stephen King one, but there is a place called Castle Rock. Um, Do you think they know about Stephen King's one and how messed up <laughs> it is? Possibly. You'd think actually. Let's not name ourselves after that. Well, I mean, Castle Rock's not as fucked up as Derry. No, that's true. But there's nowhere called Derry. Apart from the Derry in Ireland. Wait, is there a Derry in Ireland? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure there I was. I sort of... I was yeah. Kind of restricting the... There's nowhere called that to America. A little bit. Oh, okay. Because Americans don't care about Ireland. Apart from the ones who are from there, obviously. And if you ask any American, they all say they're from Ireland. And there is a, a place called Derry. It's in New Hampshire. The uh, Here we go. The uh, first potato planted in the United States was sown in Derry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, oh, so were... those guys are Irish. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm. I, do you know what? Like, I'm. I'm even thinking I might pay the ex- the remaining sixteen pound fifty to watch the rest of this because this is fucking. Oh, brilliant. I mean, yeah, I'm a hundred percent buying it. <laughs> like, this is, this is good. I, you know, I'm. If I, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying it right now. It was yeah, no, it was so good. Yeah. And the thing, I I think I sort of got like a little bit in and was like, oh, this is just gonna be like a murder investigation. I was like, oh, this is these have been paired incorrectly. And I was ready to like try and defend myself, being like, I didn't know what either of these were. I didn't know the Haunting of Hill House was scary. They should put shit like that in the title. <laughs> <laughs> At least allude to the fact there's going to be fucking ghosts. Yeah. Getting a little spooky. And then, yeah, you see when she gets back to the town and they're just like, oh no, there's just these two girls who go missing and no one gives a shit. And you're just like, uh... Oh my God. But also, when they find the body of the girl... Whore. <laughs> When she just sat in on the fucking windowsill. I don't know why, but that was fucking terrifying. Just the way she was just sat there. Do you know why it was terrifying? Because there was a whole town of people around and no one fucking noticed. Yeah. 
Do you know what? I might watch it again. I might watch the pilot again. Watch it on a, like a, a, a real a screen. A decent screen, <laughs> yeah. I, well, this is the thing. So like, I was watching it sort of the last, you know, just as I was winding up the day, just doing it a couple of last little bits on my work laptop. So it, I, I didn't give it my full attention. But even so, like, I, I did, like, mostly watch it. I, I've got a coherent, you know, an idea of what the coherent, like, story is. But, like, I did miss it. I've, I've bought the so whole thing. So that's what I transferred it to my phone to go and do the washing up and shit, just to finish it, because I knew we were recording today. Um, but, yeah, I will, I'm going to go back and rewatch it, because it was fucking amazing. I've bought season one. <laughs> nice, well done. Uh, I need to check. Oh, well, I, I would... Had I not just been fleeced at a ninety quid, <laughs> I would one hundred percent buy this right now. But as I said to you before we started, I saw a really convincing Lego advert on Instagram, and they now have a hundred pounds of my money. Oh, wait, no, I've got a bear on it. What you should do is to give this show its full justice. Uh, hang on, buy a new PC to watch it on. I've been rumbled. <laughs> <laughs> But but imagine it was that, or it was going to move to it's going to be moved to London, so you can't watch it on my lap, on my uh, PC screen. You've got a curved monitor, haven't you? Yeah. Why? Why not? Yep. Fair. <laughs> Checks out. It makes no difference, but it <laughs> looks cool. Yeah, that's absolutely fair. But yeah, like these shows were so good. Yeah, I don't know where I'm I... going to fit this show in because I've got season two of Twin Peaks has just shown up. So and that's like twenty episodes or something. So fuck knows when I'm going to get a chance to watch this. Before that, <laughs> this is less. This is eight episodes. It's only eight, yeah. yeah. And I have got Killing Eve to watch. And also, like, you'll be able to follow the plot of this. Maybe I have no idea. Probably. Do you know what? I, I'm th- we've got a three day weekend coming up. Because are you got Friday off? Yep. Uh, what I'm thinking is I might just set aside a day. And just line up a bunch of shit that I've been meaning to watch. I've already reserved. The morning is Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I've not watched it yet either. It's on Disney Plus now, so... Oh, yeah, I, I bought the Blu-ray box. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> well, no, I bought the Blu-ray because I already had all the others. Yeah. And some of us don't need fucking ten copies of Attack of the Clones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, that's the morning. Um, if there's anything of Haunting of Hill House left, there's that. And sharp objects. Yeah. that That's my Friday. Don't know what I'm going to do for the weekend. Do you know what? I think I might even rewatch sharp objects tonight, like with Lisa. Just say, right, you've got to watch this before we go to bed. Watch it. And then at the end, be like, now imagine if you hadn't seen <laughs> right, all the words. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then you were trying to go on a podcast and talk about what you've just watched. Which that was like if I'd never seen Empire Strikes Back. He's go, oh, so what do you think about him being his dad? I'm like, you what? <laughs> no, that's insane. Why would anyone have? For jeez, no. But and then to be fair, you watched it and just went, oh my fuck. <laughs> and because that's it. Because I watched like most of Sharp Objects, and then I went uh, had dinner and then watched Haunting of Hill House because I couldn't. I watched that in the living room. And then I came back and I was like, oh, I've got six minutes of this fucking show left. Oh, I'll just finish it. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I got to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I, watched, I essentially like maybe spent six hours of yesterday watching weird spooky shit and then just went straight to bed. How did that, did that affect your dreams at all? No, I'm a fucking sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's weird is I've started being able to remember my dreams now. Like, and I, I, That's because you're a psychopath. <laughs> I tend to dream every night and every morning I wake up I was like, oh yeah, I had that dream. And for like years, I wasn't able to do that. So fuck knows what's changed. Maybe it's because you don't have to go Job. anywhere. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's because you're like getting a good amount of sleep now. I think that's it, and like what you know, getting up at a reasonable hour to go and do a day's work rather than getting up at fucking quarter to six in the morning to go and. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad to be out of that, to be honest. <laughs> no, I mean, it doesn't sound like it. it sounds like you miss it, mate. <laughs> not really, not really. So yeah, um, this this is this might be our strongest ever, strongest ever lineup. That's something we should do. Is at some point we should discuss what 
what two shows have been fucking brilliant. What pair? Oh, I mean... What pairing? Gilmore Girls and Gossip Girl was pretty good. It was half good. Well, I mean, no, it was all good. You worked out the end of Gossip Girl. <laughs> <laughs> From the start. I was like, oh, it's that cunt, isn't it? <laughs> and you're like, uh... <laughs> it was like a few weeks later, you're like, yeah, it turns out it was it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, to be fair, in the last few days, I've rewatched a whole season of Gossip uh, Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. It's good effort. Right, come on in. What are we doing next? I don't know anything about either of these shows, and they sound good. Why are they? I just saw um, I saw a surname of one of the guys in um, Sharp Objects. Yeah. And it looks a bit like. The guy who plays Logan in Gilmore Girls is oh something. yeah, Ch- Journey, J- Journey, or whatever. It is. I don't know how you pronounce C Z. But yeah, he has a son. Well, he has a a child. And I just want to know if it's him. I <laughs> uh, know it's Matt. It's Matt Churchy or something, isn't it? Is the oh, guy who plays Logan? Fucking, they don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've got to go and ruin everything. Yeah. Uh oh, Daddy Class. Yeah, I don't think know it's is. a Marvel Sounds- thing. Oh, was it? I think so. I'm not 100% uh, sure if it's out yet. Oh, that's going to be... Texas. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I think it's out. Deadly... Cl- I've just, we've just both Googled the same thing. Uh, Deadly Class. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, cool. And it's on Star. It's on Prime. So I already have access to it. So Is do it I. a Marvel thing? No. Uh, it looks like a superhero-y thing. Graphic novel... A Secret Academy for the Deadly Arts. Oh, that sounds good. It uh, is produced by the Russo Brothers. It's probably hey. a Marvel thing. Uh, it's not, actually. Um, what's the other one? I've long heard of that. Uh, Midnight Texas. I don't know what that is. That sounds interesting. Oh, it's an American drama series. Based on Charlene Harris's book. Uh, isn't Charlene Harris the person that did like True Blood or something? But... Oh, yeah. There's... Oh, here you go. Uh, Charlene Harris, who also wrote the Southern Vampire Mysteries, the novels which were adapted into the True Blood television series. We've done True Blood on here, haven't we? Well, I can't remember what we thought of it. Like, no, I don't right, think we have. I'm sure we've done. We've done one of them. We've done. Like, we, I we think we did True the Vampire Diaries. No, Diaries. I thought we did the Vampire Diaries and something else. Well, I'm thinking season oh. two. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I think that I bought the DVDs of True Blood and I started watching them and I was like, this ain't. Yeah, we did Vampire Dry- Diaries and Dracula. Oh, in series one. Jesus, all the way back there. Not even the good Dracula. Like the passable Dracula, but not. Oh my god, the yeah. Dracula. That was. Oh my god, you know, that Dracula was only this year. That was. You were over at ours. You were here when that came yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, it was the very start of the year. <laughs> yeah, it was. Wait. It was, yeah, it was January. Yeah, it was. Like, the first weekend. Like the first weekend, wasn't it? Because it was just after New Year, yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, right, well, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun next week. I'll see you later, because I'm off to do a shite. Uh, tracks. That's our whole friendship right there. <laughs>